Hey everyone! So that's the trailer of my new book and um, it's a tale about divine time and how divine time transpires in our earthly lives. So every time a Torah reader will say, you'll get what you want in divine timing and you wonder what does that really mean, yeah? So if you're interested to know more, if you're interested to read this book, um, get a copy and it is now available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. The link to Amazon is in the description box below, okay? And don't forget to check out the link and as well as share it with your friends, okay? Uh, for more uh, book launch updates, you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior, as well as my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay? Uh, don't forget to get a copy after this reading and let me know your feedback on Amazon reviews too. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's start your reading. Hey Pisces, welcome to your monthly tarot read for mid-month October. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love life. Um, our reading for today would be about who's coming towards you. Alright, so let's see who's coming towards Pisces in love. Let's see who's coming towards Pisces in love. I also do um, weekly uh, readings for this type of question and um, you can check those out in the um, Gypsy Monday Night Star. Alright, who's coming towards Pisces in love? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. All right, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. The Tower, Five of Pentacles, and Three of Wands. The Page of Wands. The world, the Queen of Pentacles, okay, the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords. Pisces, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Well, Pisces, you've got someone coming towards you, a very passionate type of person, could be a fire sign. Um, exciting <laughs> a person who brings excitement yeah or who can bring excitement into your life and I feel like this person is coming in with good intentions uh, more specifically about uh, they want to be connected to you they want to be partnered with you they want to be they want to get to know you more yeah for some of you this is a start of a new uh, shall I just say getting to know one another yeah and it feels like this is a person Pisces um, for some of you if you already know this person I feel like they're coming in with um, like I said good intentions and uh, happy vibe romantic vibe towards you but for some of you if this is truly a new person for you this is a start of a new uh, romantic sort of uh, connection for you yeah if you haven't met this person yet, for sure someone is coming along, right? That's what I feel. Uh, I feel that you will be excited about this because, Pisces, I see that you have been through, let's just say, hell and back, yeah? For some of you, you may have um, waited for a long time to achieve some form of happiness in your love life. Um, you may have shown a lot of eagerness, a lot of trying and doing for other people, but it always ended up like you are not getting a good end of the bargain here. Yeah. And I feel like you are at a space right now where you know who you are, you know what you want, and definitely you know the type of energy that you can take in yeah, from other people. And I feel that this person who's coming towards you is someone who will likely bring you just that, 
yeah something that you want you want the two of cups and that's exactly what they're bringing somebody that when you look at when they look at you in their in your eyes you can somehow see that yeah there's something here and you want to delve deeper into it you want to know and get to know each other further and the potential for this person to stick and um to stick and stay <laughs> is there yeah i feel like this person is is going to be there to stay for a while with you because they're bringing in this um, happy vibe and um, very interested vibe towards you. Okay. Um, now, for some, this could come as a surprise, especially if this is a person that you may already know in the past because this is a, a twist in, in their action. They're coming in with a tower energy which is can be unexpected um this person they may not even realize that they are wanting this now you know um they were uh, they were not even planning to really want this situation with you right now it just happened like all of a sudden this person just woke up and i um, decided that yes this is the person it's pisces that um i want to be with uh for some of you this person may have left a situation a, a connection with someone else and um or they may have broken up with someone yeah and um they're out in the market so i feel like when they meet you they're ready to go yeah ready to go for another round yeah another um another someone that they want to be uh connected to right uh, and you can sense you would know that um, this is the person that we're talking about because once you get to keep in touch with this person or you connected once you connect with this person once they reach out to you um, the fun the lightheartedness the um, this person would continue they would carry on with conversing with you keeping in touch with you um, wanting to know what you're up to, what makes you tick, what makes you happy, they would continue to do that. And they are also willing to give you information about themselves, about what they're doing, um, the new things that they are involved in right now, anything related to their passion, their hobbies. So they, they will start to get to know you and they would start to let you know what they, what they or who they are yeah, and what they are interested in doing, right? Um, this person may have learned uh, somehow, whether it be from prior relationships or just, you know, um, just being human with different types of relationships around the world. They may have learned that this way of um, getting to know someone uh, bit by bit uh, and um, also opening up about how they feel, about where they stand is important yeah and this person has learned that from their past relationships and i feel like this time um they are actually ready to embark in a new cycle of of um connecting with people and in this case they are ready to connect with you once they meet you yeah so you can expect that this person would be interested or and interesting to talk to and somebody who would put um, effort in terms of um, getting to know you. I feel that this person will come in with compassion. Yeah, Somebody who, who would want to know what a Pisces would want in a relationship and then they would cater for it. You, you can see, you will see um, that this person is in it to win it, right? And ultimately, they will work for it because they want a Ten of Cups. They want to be um, happy. They want to be happy with someone emotionally. They want to connect with you emotionally, mentally. Um, yeah, that, that's what I feel. So somebody who is um, strongly wanting a connection yeah, or, or, yeah, wanting a connection, not needing one, but wanting a connection, a romantic connection, yeah. Um, the way I see it, Pisces, is that uh, you will be showered with love, with um, attention by this person, and um, 
yeah they will bring in love into your life so if you haven't been in relationship for a while now this could be a new person coming into your life for those of you who may be connecting with someone and um, you feel like this is the person who's coming back um, I do feel that this time they will be more emotionally open uh, and will express to you how they feel and this could actually strengthen the bond that you already have built yeah and I, I, I believe the message here for you to Pisces is that um, this can be your new true love, right? And it's essential to know uh, that in order for things to develop, you can't really rush things out, yeah? It's, it's allowing, allowing things to develop between the two of you. Sometimes, um, even if you are at a stage where you already know what you want, um, getting to know a person or reconnecting with someone that you may have already detached for a while now, it's always good to start from ground zero, yeah, to see and meet the person where they are at right now, yeah, instead of um, bringing in the past energy that you have shared in the past and then piling up on on top of that it feels like this needs uh it, yeah this needs a ground zero kind of energy so that you could enjoy the the process yeah you could enjoy the process as, as you get to know more about this person yeah as you get to know more about this person here I don't see any, um, essentially, I don't see anything that talks about holding on to what, to, I mean, holding on to what this person has done in the past or, you know, um, hoping for them to come back and um, apologize to you and things like that. I feel like the driver or the motivation for this uh, person who's coming towards you is more about they're bringing in this uh, desire to get to know you or perhaps even get to know you again and then build a rather more uh, romantic relationship with you okay so it's it's them bringing in new vibe yeah for some of you this could definitely be a new person that you will start to connect you start to talk to um, yeah that's what I feel. And somebody who has who has um, finished up a cycle in their past. So no point in in, in drilling down into um, past cycles here. That's what I feel. I hope that gives you inside spices and um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for those of you who haven't um, uh, read my book yet don't forget this is now divine time this is now available in Amazon um, both in paperback and um, Kindle versions uh, check that out um, this is a mystical tale of finding one true love and what divine timing means in our daily life also if you want to know more about how to read um, the tarot cards this could be a, a very good component for you to understand um, first at least the major uh, arcanas in the tarot deck okay thank you Pisces